everybody. Why am I the biggest? To the Ralph Graves Jr. show. There we go. <laughs> this is Ralph Grace Jr. Thanks for being part of the program. So glad to see you guys on Instagram Live and YouTube Live and Facebook Live and wherever else we are. And it is a beautiful morning, April 14th, and the gang is all here. Good morning, Kair. Good morning. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm doing good. Janae, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. A couple more days to be married, huh? Yes. Hey, like guys. 48 ish hours ish. Yeah, my daughter's getting married on Friday. So the next time you guys see her on a Wednesday, she'll be married. She'll be wed. She'll be married. Guys, today we're going to jump right into it. Guys, I'm so glad to have you guys here. Um, if you don't know me and, we, and you just, just met me, my name is Pastor Ralph Graves Jr., I'm Pastor of Cornerstone Community Church in Millville, New Jersey. Uh, I'm an author. Uh, I'm a uh, I'm a coach. I'm a, I have a podcast. I, I content creator. God has allowed me to do a whole lot of things. But I like to spend my Wednesdays, Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. here talking to you all, just going over some things that I've been been working on, and um, see if we can start up some conversation. So today we're talking about four powerful little words that will make your life worth while. That's what we're talking about. How was your weekend, ladies, this past weekend? Hmm. My weekend. I did anything? I, I've just been packing and preparing mm. right. um, for my wedding and then moving. So that's basically all I've been doing. Okay. It's pretty fun, though. I'm having a good time packing everything up <laughs> and throwing mm-hmm. things away. Throwing stuff away is Makes you feel good. Right. What's happening? We see you. What's going on? How you guys doing? It's my big brother, Ray Jones. Love that guy. Kaya, how was your weekend? Um, my weekend was... Oh, my weekend was fine. It was you had a good time? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's dive into this. Four powerful words that will make your life worthwhile. Now, this whole program is about growth, all right? It's about personal growth. We asked the question last week, what's up, Smooth Barber? Good to have you on. We asked the question last last week, is is, um, personal growth important to you? And it should be, it should be. Um, We attract what we are, what we become. And uh, so as you grow, you will start probably attracting the things, you'll start probably making it to your goals as you grow personally. It was never God's intention for you to be born and just stay the way you are, but for us to grow. So um, I want to talk about these four little words. Oh, we have a word of the day. We have the sixth sense. What else we have going on, Janae? Quite a few things. Um, there's the verse of the day. I mean, the same stuff that we normally have. The Our um, advice column, Dear Sixth Sense Crew. The wow. word of the day, the verse of the day, and then, you know, we just talk about um, Ralph Graves Jr. dot com stuff, you know. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. All right, guys. Listen. You no doubt heard the phrase, "and muscle never stretched, never grows." I mean, if you never heard that, you you heard it today. The big challenge we all face is how to become all that we can become. That's my challenge. That's your challenge. Hopefully, we're growing weekly. We're growing daily. Um, you know, you can have more because you can become more. I said that, I just said that. You can have more because you can become more. We attract what we are, what we become, you know, we, we, we attract that. And so there are four little words, there's four words that can really um, make your life worthwhile or really change some things if you really pay attention. The, the, the life is worthwhile if you learn, if you learn. That's word number one, learn. Life is worthwhile Hey, what's going on, uh, Sister Joyce? If you learn, don't be, you know, a Mr. and Mrs. Know-it-all. You have to have, you have to have learning to exist, let alone succeed. All right. Learning is very important. Uh, What you don't know will, in fact, hurt you. So you have to learn from your own experiences, negative or positive. We have to learn to do it right. Um, um, But, but first, Sometimes sometimes we learn to do it right by doing it wrong. Am I right about it? Somebody say amen in the back. We also learn from other people's experiences, both positive and negatives too. 
you know, but we need to learn learning. Learning, guys, is the beginning of wealth. Learning is the beginning of health. Learning is the beginning of of, of your spiritual walk with, with Christ. Searching and learning is where the miracle process all begins. It all starts with learning. So let's dive into that for a moment. Life is worthwhile if you learn. What are you learning right now? Anybody care to share what you're learning right now? Uh, uh, Janae, what are you learning right now? You're going to ask Tyler. Then I ask some of you listeners. What are you learning um, right now? I am learning. Well, I had a comment first just about learning. Okay. And okay. It, it was like, it's because at a certain point, you get to choose what you're going to learn. Like, you know, yeah. if you're in, you know, formal schooling, then they tell you what to learn. But yeah. Even when you get to like high school and like college, you can start to decide what you want to learn about. Yeah. And so right now I've decided to start learning about like interior design because I have a space that I need to yeah. <laughs> make homey yeah. and make comfortable and yeah. functional. So I'm learning about interior design. <laughs> okay. And 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 um, well, let me ask Kaya before I make my next comment. Kaya, what are you learning right now? Right now, I'm learning. Whether, whether it be about yourself, whether it be to do something, whether, but what are you learning right now? What is Kaya learning? Um, I'm learning to not buy it if I don't need it. All right now. Okay. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning to not buy it if you don't need it. Very good. Right now. Yes. Right now. Right now, right now. Good morning. Get on it for a couple days. <laughs> so, so, so you're learning. So, what do you do, Kai? Do you let 48 hours pass by and say, okay, if I want it in 48 hours, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll make the purchase? Or what kind of time do you give yourself? I'll sleep on it normally. And then okay. if I'm still unsure, I'll give it like another day. And then if I'm still unsure, I'm like, I don't need it right now. Okay. So, but, and that's a learned behavior. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. It could have been. It'd be like, I'm going to buy it. And then if I don't want it, I'll return it. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so the, here's the key. The, the key to living a worthwhile life is learning and, and learning yourself. And like, like Janae said, you can go to school and learn trades and there is instructional learning for every day. But this whole personal growth journey is really about you being self-aware, being who are you? Are you in tune with your feelings? Are you in tune with who you are? Are you learning about you? Are you constantly growing? Because what doesn't grow is dead. What doesn't grow is dead. So what are you learning? Sister Joyce, Pam, you guys are on, on the Facebook. Anybody else watching Facebook want to comment? What are you learning? Like, like you know, learning. Life is worthwhile when you learn. Uh, we learn by what we see. So pay attention, guys. We learn by what we hear. Be a good listener. We learn from what we read. Don't be afraid to open a book or two or three. We learn from lectures. We learn from songs. We learn from sermons. We learn from congregate, uh, um, um, conversations with people who care. Always keep learning. Sister Joyce Smith says this, I'm learning that I'm not the captain of other ships. Ha, I like that. I can't fix everything in that I find peace. You know, and that's a mature thing to say because a lot of us think that, you know, we look at friends, family, and how come they don't do it that way? They ain't do what I told them to do. And she's learning, hey, I'm not the captain of that ship. I can't fix everything. And she's learning to find peace. That's awesome. You are learning every day. Thanks for sharing that, Joyce Smith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, if you haven't, I want you guys to go on over to my webpage, ralphgravesjr.com backslash community and join the unstoppable community. Phenomenal videos are posted every week. I think they're great. I'm getting great response. If you comment, we talk back and forth. You get a chance to get on my calendar. We and we, we talk all things um, personal growth and spiritual growth. Okay. You can get right on there. If you I have some phenomenal podcasts up. I just talked to Ray Edwards and Shay Bynes. They're all on my podcast. Go over to um anywhere podcasts are the unstoppable show. It's on Spotify, it's on Anchor, it's on iTunes, it's on um, something else too. It's another platform it's on, but it's out there. Go check out that podcast. I've These podcasts, I'm learning. You're talking about learning. One way to learn is to have on some really interesting podcast guests. We just had Shannon Morales. I think that's the last one. 
that's posted. She was a guest on the show a couple of weeks ago. We learned from Shannon. Shannon is uh, some doing some remarkable things. So learn, learn today. Learn something today. Pam Weiner she says this, I'm learning to pray on all situations before speaking. That's, that's, well, that's awesome. You are never too old to learn. You should be learning each and every day, each and every day, learning. All right, number two, then we're going to break and then we're going to do some other things and I'll give you three and four. Life is worthwhile, and I, I, I'll probably stick on this for a minute, if you try. Try. The second word is try. Learn and then try. You can't just learn. Now you have to try something to see if you can do it. Try and make a difference. Try to make some progress. Try to learn a new skill, a new sport. It doesn't mean you can do everything, but there are a lot of things you can do if you just try. Just try. Why not? Try. Try your best. Give your best effort. Try to do something you've never done before. Try to start something you never started before. Now, here's the problem with trying, right? Now, I don't want to say there's a problem. I'm going to talk to you about a roadblock that you might encounter while trying. A roadblock you might encounter by trying. I call, I call them the well-meaning warriors. Not warriors, warriors. The well-meaning warriors. You ever try something? And, and, and a lot of times the well-meaning warriors, they're the people that are closest to us. They're our friends and family, parents, colleagues. And we've all heard them before. Be careful. You know, you might get hurt. We hear stuff like, be careful. You don't know what could happen. Be careful. They might fire you. They might forget you. They might reject you. They might hate you. They might spurn you. They might despise you. They might pick on you. Um, you wouldn't like that when you bring up a suggestion. You ever talk to a well-meaning worrier? Uh, you wouldn't like that. That's not who you are. You, you can't do this. That's really not your thing. And a lot of times this doesn't come from a bad place. All right. But a well-meaning worrier will have you worry about something you ain't got no business worrying about. Can you can you imagine? Think about all the things you didn't try. Think about all the places you didn't go because you listened to the advice of someone who was worrying and you missed out on an opportunity to experience life in a different way. So when you begin to try, when you learn and begin to try, you will face some kickback. And I'm not saying these folks, these are not the haters. These are the well-meaning worriers. Learn that when you hear that, when you hear that, learn and understand what it is, but keep on trying, keep on pushing, keep on being the person that you're called to be. Don't be afraid to experience some things, even at other people, you know, behest, if you will. So what do you guys think? If you, if you like encounter like a, a, uh, a well-meaning yeah. warrior. It's yeah. like, it's like, okay, well, you know, that's your worry. That's not mine. So, yeah. you know, thanks for letting me know where, you, like what you think I'm capable of. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I'll just, I'll see you at the top, you know, it's like, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, how do you handle well-meaning warrior? Like, like, you know, um, how, how would you handle them, Janae? I guess, I was I was going to ask you because I was because I would feel I like I would just tell them, you know, noted, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, here's the thing: these people they're they're not they're not callous. They actually believe right. they're doing their duty. Yeah. So they, that's why it's just like, oh, well, thanks for you your know, input. They, they seem mother motherly and judicious, and mm -hmm. um, they want they want to take great care to protect us. Um, but without knowing it, sometimes they can be the saboteur of our dreams, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes without knowing it, they can be the saboteur of our, our, of our dreams. And, um, you know, it's cloaked in goodwill. It's cloaked as a, as, as a friend, you know? And so we, we have to, if, if we're not careful and if we're constantly around worry, it can quickly limit what we are capable of. So we can't do that. All we can do is this. You ask, ask Pop what he would do, right? All, I, all you can do is this. Listen intently to those we trust. Be sober in our estimates of any real danger. Hey, good morning, Jacqueline. Good to see you. Be sober. Uh, be sober and diligent when it comes to uh, uh, any real danger and our estimates of our, our danger. But to those, uh, you know, 
if, if we don't know them, we don't pay any mind. But, you know, just kind of be aware they're doing their duty. Be sober. Be intelligent. Make the moves you got to make. But don't let them pause you. Don't let them cause you any undue worrier, worrying as you pursue that which you know you're called to pursue. George Smith says this, whose report do you believe? Yeah, that's, that's what we talk about in church. Whose report will you believe? I think that's an Isaiah. I believe the report of the Lord. Do not receive everything said to you. Even if it's in a loving manner, you don't have to agree with it. Jen says this on Instagram Live. Hey, Jen, Jeff Rollins said, I agree. They mean well. And they're using their perspective, which is valid to them. Mm -hmm. We have to be sure and we have to believe in ourselves and not to lean on the other understanding of others. Exactly right. Thank you, Jen, for that comment. These folks are well-meaning worriers. They will stop you from trying. They will, they will, they will sabotage your hopes and dreams, and they don't do it intentionally. Kaya, any comments on that? You're young. You're going to try some things. I may even do that. I may even say, Kaya, you better be careful. You know, I, because sometimes we just as protectors say that. And it's not my, from a malicious point of view. Sorry, my computer, my connection like this has been skipping the whole time. Okay. So I'm getting like every other word. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about how to handle the well-meaning worriers. And, and we've had some great comments. How do some of you handle them? Jen checked in on Instagram Live. Jen Rowans, um, Joy Smith checked in. Um, Jacqueline Kerbeck, how do you handle well-meaning worriers? If you're still listening, Jacqueline, how do you how do you handle that? Maria, how do you handle uh, uh, well-intentioned worriers? How do you handle that? You know, some people have some good intentions. They'll stop us from trying. Okay, guys, you're watching. You're listening to the Ralph Grace Jr. Show. So glad to have you guys here. We're talking about four words, just four words that will, are, will make your life worthwhile. First two words were learn and try. Learn and try. Learning, constantly growing, constantly learning, and don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to start the business. If it fails, you started it. Keep starting them. Right. By your six or or good morning to Shauna. By your sixth or seventh business, you got it nailed. Right. You keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. We'll come back. We're going to talk about the um, word of the day. I got to give you the word of the day. I almost forgot. I got so into this. Um, what's about the word of the day? Um, we're going to do some other things. But anyway, guys, listen to our sponsors. We will be right back. Hydration is a proud sponsor of the Ralph Graves Morning Show. Revive Hydration is the first IV hydration and vitamin infusion service in the South Jersey area. For more details, please visit their website at www.revivehydration.com or you can give them a call at 856-485-0070. Again, their website, www.revivehydration.com or give them a call at 856-485-0070.
Hey everybody, my name is Ralph Graves Jr. I am the author of this book called Unstoppable. Now what Unstoppable is about is it's seven universal laws that will transform how you pursue and achieve success. Why don't you pick up your copy today? Go to my website, www.ralphgravesjr.com. Go to Amazon. This book is sold wherever fine books are sold anywhere in the country. My name is Ralph Graves. Let's be unstoppable together. All right, we are back. I don't know why I keep getting kicked off. All kinds of technical difficulties today because <laughs> difficulties because we got a, we got some good information we're putting out there. Um, hey, Mama Klimzak, she said, I'm a great example of this, Ralph. Look at what you're achieving. Thanks, Mama Klimzak. Been there from the beginning. Remembered me as a young tadpole. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. So we talked. We talked about four things to make your life worthwhile. We talked. We talked about two things so far. We talked about learning and trying. We kind of discussed the um, well-meaning worriers. Well-meaning worriers. All right. We talked about that. Before we go any further, oh, Deshauna Clark says, "Yes, that's it. Cannot fix those that want to stay broken. Can't. Can't fix folks that want to stay broken. But you have to make sure. You have to make sure." It doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean you diss them. It just, you just, like Sister Joyce says, you just don't receive that information. All right. You don't, if, if you don't receive that information from them. All right. I, I, um, I have a, I have a well meaning where your story thingy. Oh, um, two, three, well, three years ago, you know how Facebook likes to give you right. Facebook memories. Yeah. And three years ago was my first powerlifting meet. Uh huh. And I, I remember like when I first started there, I had a lot of well-meaning worriers. <laughs> yeah. About, like my overall well-being when I was, you know, lifting heavy weight. Yeah. Just for the fun of it. And it was a lot of, are you sure you want to do that? And <laughs> like Yeah, I think they mean well, right? And and it's just like um I, I think Jennifer hit it, hit it, hit the nail on the head on over on IG Live, Jennifer Owens. She said that they're looking at it from their perspective or how they feel about it. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to, what do we call that? We put our, put project. our project. Thank you. They're trying to project their worry and their concern on you. Yeah. Like, and don't put that on me, Ricky Bobby. From uh, <laughs> Saturday nights. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Most people, listen, you achieve nothing if you play it safe all the time. That's all I'm saying. There are times you can play it safe, but you achieve nothing. I know people who are who are just not achieving anything because they're just playing small ball. They're playing safe. I'm not telling you to be reckless. I'm not telling you to to to, to just throw all caution to the wind. But I'm saying that if you have a goal, I'm saying that if you want to start something, do something. If you're feeling yourself moving in a, one direction, when you try, ultimately, I said the, the, the second most powerful word after learn is try. When you begin trying, there will be those around you who are well-meaning worriers, then they just don't want to see you be, be disappointed. But guess yeah. what? Disappointment helps me grow, doesn't it? Doesn't it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just prattling. And that brings us to the word of the day. Prattle. Now, we started the word of the day, you guys know, because of my, my Scrabble challenges against my wife. And so today's word is prattle. Prattle. Try to use this in a sentence. I just did. I felt myself prattling. Prattling means, or prattle means, to babble. That's what it means, right? It means to babble. It means to babble nonstop without regard to whether what you are saying makes sense or is, or anyone is interested. That is uh, prattle. That's prattle. That's prattle. Ladies and gentlemen, that's prattle. Janae, put up Maria, uh, Maria's comment on Facebook Live for me as I get Instagram back together because all kinds of stuff's happening today. Maria says this. She said, I literally just returned back home from Atlanta yesterday. And it drained me because my sister is a big time worrying person. And if we don't guard our hearts and spend a long time with God, we too can possibly fall into this as well. 
Amen, Maria. Say it again for the people in the back. I was there for over a week. It was fulfilling because I was able to spend uh, a lot of time with her and my niece. Amazing, amazing, okay? So don't let the warriors shake you. Don't let the warriors uh, shake you and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, number three. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do number three. I want to do the sixth sense. I want to do the sixth sense. I had something to say and I totally forgot. I want to do the sixth sense. Then we'll come back to this. Let's do our sixth sense. Dear sixth sense crew, Kaya reads a letter. Uh, someone writes in and we get the chance to put our two cents in. Go ahead, sixth sense. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Dear sixth sense crew, my husband and I recently had our DNA tested. We knew people can uncover unexpected relationships, but I wish we had thought about how to cope with this before we took our test. Both of us have discovered that we have half siblings. My father had two children with another woman while I was in junior high school. My husband's father had children, had a child with a close family friend while his mother was pregnant with him. Both of us are trying to understand this without the ability to ask our fathers who are deceased and without any deep understanding of what was happening at the time. The last thing we want to do is ask our mothers who are quite elderly. Please caution your reader, listeners <clears throat> consider before submitting their DNA what their own feelings and actions will be if they find out something shocking. I don't know. Do you care to respond to that, Janae? You go first. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> I don't. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Janae's on mute. I don't know what's happening here. I don't think oh, there was. There was more to the, to the, to the thing. Oh. Was more to yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like that. Don't sound like a thing. I just scrolled over. I had to screenshot it. My husband and I agree that we are glad we know, but it has been difficult, particularly because all of these half siblings really don't want to meet or know us. My question to you is, should we tell our siblings they may want to know, but we are not sure, as we have found out, once you know something, you cannot unknow it. Additionally, we know that eventually, as more family members do their DNA, they may learn about this. What do we do? Yeah. So, yeah, they, they want to know if they should tell their siblings that they have half siblings. I would. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but like, your, your father was a trick. That's your dad. Yeah, like, like, you want to know, you wanna know something crazy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him, I tell quick. You know, dad's deceased too. That's what they said in the letter. I'm telling. Yeah. I'm telling. I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, we got we got other brothers and sisters out there. Yeah. I and don't they don't want to ask their moms because their moms are like old, I guess, and they would probably like maybe they don't even know. I'd ask. <laughs> you knew. You knew. <laughs> <laughs> that's great stuff. You guys care to comment on that. that? That's awesome. That's awesome. Let me get back to this, right? Joy Smith said some well-meaning warriors are just prattling. She used prattle in a sentence. There you go. There you she go. she always uses the words so quickly. It takes me yeah. like a whole 15 minutes. <laughs> right, 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 right. She's on it. Okay. Another powerful word, guys. We're talking about four words, four words today. Stay. Now, after we learn, after we try, stay. Before I jump into stay, Joy Smith says on that, stop keeping secrets. You don't want siblings to end up as lovers. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Very true. They yeah. used to, and apparently the, what? Go ahead. Oh, well, when I was getting my marriage license, apparently there used to be blood tests involved. Yeah. For, for just this reason, perhaps. Oh, just for that reason. When me and your mom got married, we, they made us get a blood test. <laughs> But but you know what? I'm gonna say this, and I have to move on to my my points. And I, the, this the the older folks love their secrets, didn't they? Love the secrets. Love the secrets. Ain't no secrets now. Like nobody has these secrets. Probably because of social media. Probably because yeah, you know everybody. But nobody has any social media. I mean, nobody has any secrets. They love their secrets. You better tell them. You better tell them. Maria says I would tell them too. That's a blessing. I come from a big family. Familiar, actually. That's what she said. 
So that's so true. Tell them, tell them. Why, why would you not enjoy a relationship? You know, why would you not enjoy a relationship? Joy Smith, who's, who's my bridge to help me understand some of the senior saints that, have, that were before her, and she always says this, they thought they were being protective. They were wrong. They were Very wrong. wrong. They were being wrong. hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> stay. Stay is the next word, guys. Stay. Four words that'll make your life worthwhile. We talked about it. Learn, try, and now stay. Now, once you're after you got after you got the trying and and you know, there's an old saying like this, and farmers say this: you have to stay from spring until the harvest. If you plant something, stay there long enough to reap the harvest. What does it mean? It means if you signed up for the day or for the game or for the project, whatever you signed up for, see it through. See it through. All right. Sometimes calamity comes and it's worth wrapping up and that's the end. But just don't end in the middle. Just don't end. If you start something, see it through. You, If you plant in the spring, stay to the harvest. I know it's an instantaneous society. I know we want everything yesterday. I know we think there's something called an easy button. But you have to see it through. Stay. Why do we get so impatient, ladies and gentlemen? Why don't we want to stay? Why don't we want to stay? Why don't we want to see it through? Because we had a plan and and now the plan's taking too long. So new plan. Uh, let me let me yo, let me let me throw this out there. I got very intelligent people watching this program on every level. And tell me if I'm wrong. I think putting time limits on things is ridiculous. In five years, I'm going to be, and then if it doesn't happen in five years, you quit. You didn't, yeah. and it was about to happen in year six. Yeah, and you feel like you wasted time. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a dangerous thing to do to put. It's if true. I'm not, if I'm gonna give it five years, after five years, I'm gone. But year six was your year of harvest. I mean, outside of calamity, if it's going pretty good. You know, I mean, we hear it all, all the time in entertainers. It takes them 20 years to become an overnight success. Stay. Especially Stay. if you know, maybe maybe it's because, you know, we're still trying to figure things out. And so you start something without maybe even caring that deeply about it. So you start it sure. and you're like, ah, all right, well, it's been three years. I think I'm going to let it go. But like, if you thought, if you know that you know that this is the thing, like this is, like this is the one, the project that needs to work or has to work, or you've, you've, you know, you're in the will of God, and this is where He yeah. told you to be, then you definitely need to have some stick to itness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see it through. Some people plant in the spring and they leave in the summer. See it through. Maria says this. She says. The problem with worry is that you can't trust God and worry at the same time. You know, they don't live in the same place. Worrying and God doesn't live in the same place, right? Worry pushes outside trust. If you know Jesus loves you, if you believe what his word says, what his word teaches, then ask him to help you instead of worrying. And that will allow you to stay and see it through. Thank you, for Maria, for saying that. Thank you. That will allow you to stay and see it through. Guys, you know, our pastor Cornerstone Community Church always like to give you a verse of the day. But one of my favorite verses is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Give your life over to Christ. I mean, he's standing there with his arms wide open. Whosoever, whosoever, you're not so evil that you're that you're outside of his love and you're not so good that you don't need his love. Rhea says every every evening, literally every evening, personal, personally, she turns her worries over to God. It's going to be all, it's going to be up all night anyway. <laughs> Thank you for, for saying that. Stay guys, stay, stay. Janae, what's the verse of the day? The verse of the day. In trying to live full and fulfilled lives, we might get the tendency to look forward too much or to plan every detail. 
Proverbs 27 1 reminds us, do not boast about tomorrow for you do not know what a day may bring. Keep your mind and spirit in tune with the Lord and be open to what he wants for you. That is how you will lead a worthwhile life. Learning, trying, staying. Proverbs tells you right there how to lead a, a worthwhile life, developing the right relationship with Christ, staying in there, hanging in there, hanging in there. Guys, check out my, uh, if you haven't got my truth boost, go ahead and subscribe, text C3E to the number 313131. You can subscribe there, get a truth boost every day. If you haven't already, go over to my um, go over to my Spotify or go over to my podcast. It's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, it's on Anchor. You'll love these podcasts. Um, I think the one up now is with Shea, uh, Shea Bynes is up, Ray Edwards is up, Shannon Morales is up. I think I've, I've done almost 40 or 50 of them. You can go back and listen to them. Go back and listen to quite a few of them. I got some great guests on there. Um, I think you guys would really, really enjoy that. We're talking about four words that change your life, four words that change your life. Learning, trying, staying. Let me ask the audience, what are you trying right now? What are you trying? What are you, what are you trying? And it's a little bit difficult, but you're trying it and you're learning as you're growing. If you're on Instagram live, if you care to share, if you're on YouTube live, if you're on Facebook, what are your, what are you learning and trying? And let me try this. I'm going to tell you what I'm trying. It's a small thing. It's not a major thing for some of you, you. You do it automatically. And I'm not doing it for any reason other than I just wanted to see if I could do it. Um, I haven't had red meat for 30 days. Just want to see if I can do it. What day are you on? I don't know. I just knew I'm not going to have it till my birthday, which oh. is the end of April. So <laughs> birthday's really April 27th. I'll probably celebrate with a steak around April 30th, May 1st. <laughs> I don't know. But I started back in March. It might even be longer than that because I started in March. Last time I, I had. But I just want to see because I was eating red meat every other day. Like every day. I'm a steak fiend. Steak fiend. So I just tried it. Um any know. any like any know. differences that you're noticing like anything? No, no. Oh. I, I I don't know. No, absolutely not. You know, I feel this. I I don't know. I just Do you feel it. lighter. No, no. I mean, anything I feel. If I'm lighter, if I, it's just because I'm doing other things. And not, I don't feel any. I don't feel any different. So I don't know if that means anything. I just want to see if I could do it. That's all. That's what I, I'm. I'm just trying. I'm trying, I guess, to like also uh trying and learning that you really like you don't have to say all of your thoughts and so what i'm trying to do is get ahead of my mouth i'm okay. i'm i'm like quick on the on the on the rebuttal like on the on the like and it's just like it just happens and then before i know it i've said it and then i'm all like dang you could have waited I think Pam Pam Wyden said that too. So so you're you're trying to that's what you're trying. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to get ahead of it and I'm learning that I can. Right. How's it working out? Pretty good. I had an incident yesterday and but mommy helped me out. Oh, okay. I have to ask her later. <laughs> If mommy helped you out because she would you have would you have done well if, if your mom wasn't there or you would have that I would have eventually gotten to what she said. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Kaya, what are you trying? Something else. Yeah, like 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 what are you what are you what are you trying? You know, I talked about what you're learning, but what are you trying and then saying I'm gonna stay at it. I'm going to stay, I'm going to try, and I, this is where I'm going to stay for a little while. Mm. I Honestly, I don't think I'm trying anything yet, but I'm working to trying it. Like, I know I need to okay. do it. Like, I have, I have a vacation coming up in a little bit, so right. I need to start my detox. But in my head, I know I need to start soon. Right, I'm right. I'm try to be consistent he with doctors before vacation, which is an indication that on vacation, she's going crazy. Right. That's uh, a <laughs> detox to retox. That is detox to retox. Okay. I get... <laughs> Good stuff. Dawn Moss is on here. Hey, Dawn, how are you? That's the, 
That's the uh, pet boss at Nevetica, unstoppablepets.nevetica.com. I'm telling you, you'll find some phenomenal stuff for your pets. Maria says, I'm trying many things to stay away from um, meat and dairy. Once you hit your second month, you'll feel the difference with the meat. I'm trying to go on my third month with no meat and dairy. You can do this. Also, I'm planning my second annual women's retreat, and I'm trying to get back in track and preparation on God's word of what I am sharing these days. That's awesome, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's awesome. George Smith says she's trying to spend less money and increase her credit score. Wow. Good. You got to try something, everybody. All right. Learn, try, and stay. So now that you're trying, you're staying in it. You're staying in it. Uh, Maria, I just, I, also, Maria, let me just say this again. Um, uh, I, I, I love red meat. And I'm probably not eating it because I loved it too much because I was indulging in it. I, I got nothing against it. I will go back to eating 16 ounces of medium. What did you order for the wedding? I have no idea. Was it red meat on there? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what you got. Well, since I'm the father of the bride, I probably can tell him to take it back and bring me chicken or fish. <laughs> Probably can do that. <laughs> probably. probably, probably can say, "Hey, bro, you, you know who just paid for this party? Take my plate back <laughs> and get what I need to get." Anyway, anyway, last word is this: the last word. We're going to stay in this for a little while. I did four words today. Four, just four little words. Four little words. We did learn. We did try. We did stay. Now care, care. Life is worthwhile if you care, care, just care. If you care at all, you'll get results. If you care enough, you'll get incredible results. So whatever you're doing, take it further than just caring enough, you know, or just take it, take it further than just caring a little bit. Care enough to get incredible results. You have to care, care enough to make a difference, care enough to turn somebody around, care enough to start a new enterprise, care enough, care enough about your finances. Like Sister Joyce was saying, care enough about your finances. To, let me let me watch my spending and increase my credit score. Deshaun Clark says this 2020 was a year of fixing her credit work, credit and work. Um, but I was I was I was successful. So now I'm in search of her first home. There's been ups and downs, turnarounds, but I'm holding and trusting God. Nothing is impossible for him. It will happen. Managing finances and being a good steward of what God has blessed me with. You have to stay the course. Stay the course and care. Care enough. Care enough. You gotta care, guys. You gotta care to stay in there. Care enough, care enough to produce the highest quality of, of production at work. Care enough to make your marriage relationships work. Care enough to grow. Hey, Sylvia, how you doing? Um, Sylvia Bogan there. I saw her yesterday. We won't tell people where though, Sylvia, but I saw her yesterday. Um, always care enough. Care enough. You know, care enough. So there you have it. Are, what do you care about? Are you caring enough to see it through? Are you caring enough about your detox to retox, Kaya? I said before y'all saw that. What's that? I said I care enough. I just I'm trying to find a perfect date so it's like I can be disciplined and don't have to worry about. Well, I have to cheat to stay because I'm doing this because I'm doing that. So I'm trying to wait for my schedule to be clear for me to yeah. take like those two weeks. Yeah. 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 Do you care enough? Do you care enough to see it through? Do you care enough to stay? Do you care enough to learn? Do you care enough to try? Do you care enough? Were you just sitting on the couch and you just taking in all of the toxic news and information and you're saturating your day with it and you have now become a well-meaning worrier and you haven't left your house, you haven't left your apartment, you scared of everybody and everything, you ain't traveling nowhere, you know, yada, 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 whatever the case may be. I what? think... I you? think that ca I think caring is kind of like your why, if yeah. you will. Uh -huh. um, because like I'm also trying to like I'm also trying to lose like like I'm just trying to be like overall more healthy, and that leaks into like every single portion of your life. And it's like I care enough for future me to try 
my best right now. Otherwise, she won't ever appear because I don't care enough about her to work on it. You just muted yourself. You're okay. You you muted yourself. Things are going crazy. I didn't even touch anything, but I muted myself. <laughs> you are you are saying a mouthful there. Do you care enough about your future self? I, I mean, I always I always you know why do you do what you do? I don't do what I do for this this Ralph Graves today. I do what I do for the guy ten years from now. They're gonna be mad at me if I don't do what I do. Yeah. Now, you know. So every workout we we sweat our way through. Every every time I turn down a 16 ounce medium well <laughs> steak, I'm doing it for you, dude. I'm doing it for 10 years from now, Ralph Graves, right? Yeah. All the all the studying, all yeah. the you know, all the projects, all the meetings. Yeah. It's like this is not for today, you. This is for tomorrow, you. <laughs> like exactly. It's for it's for that person. Yeah, yeah. What a way to approach it. What a way to approach it. You know, um, you have to approach it that way. <laughs> Janae, people on Instagram saying she better speak. Don't care enough. <laughs> you have to care enough about your future self. Thank yeah. you, in precious. Thank you for for saying that. Thank you for being part of the program. Care enough about your future self. So, the four words make life worthwhile. Learn, try, stay and care. I mean, do, do you, if you're in a bad relationship, do you care enough for yourself to get out of it? If you're in a, and if you're in a bad situation or, or, you know, from, from the, from our, our Christian point of view, do you care enough for yourself to develop such a strong prayer life that, that, that the future you blooms into the person that God called you to be? Remember, I said at the top of the program, you don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. Mm -hmm. It's the bottom line. So if you're not growing, what you want will never, who you want, what you want, what you want to do will never be presented to you. All right. You know, you know, so I like that, Janae. Life is worthwhile if you care. If you care. Guys, if you haven't gone over to my website, ralphgracejr.com. Join the Unstoppable community. Put up some great things from week to week. Some of you are part of that, and I praise God for that. It's only $10 a month. That's all it is. It's $10 a month of investing in yourself. It's all it is. It's all it is. I mean, I, I've spent thousands, probably coming up on a million or so dollars, spending on myself to grow. $10 a month. I mean, we have some, we, we do some great stuff over there. Some things are just for that community there that we don't do here. I hope you join that community over there. If you haven't already, go get my book, Unstoppable. Um, okay, thank you. I'm, I'm, I got paused because I'm precious on Instagram. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. She said, my name is pronounced I'm precious and, and thank you for correcting me. I don't care about myself. I, she said, I didn't care about myself enough for a long time and had to finally come to terms to see me like God sees me, not now, not um, sees me, not how he saw me, you know? So I talked to someone yesterday and I was sharing this with uh, my wife last night and the podcast is not up, but it will be up. Thank you, Dawn, for saying that awesome show. Thank you. We, we were, we were, I can't really get into it, but we're, we were talking about, we're talking about deconstructing your automatic ego deconstructing your automatic ego. I only have 10 minutes here, so I can't really even get into that. Um, I can't even really get into that. But we talked about deconstructing your automatic ego. And what's your automatic ego is not, you know, the one that makes you proud. Your automatic ego is, is rooted in the story that you tell yourself constantly. And this woman I talked to, she was from France. You'll hear it on a podcast a couple of weeks. Um, phenomenal story. Um, she lost her husband on the honeymoon, got married on the honeymoon. He dies of a brain aneurysm on the honeymoon. She said, I was married five days. She said, I began to tell myself I was the unluckiest woman on the planet. And she said, guess what? I was the unluckiest woman on the planet because of the story she was telling herself. That's what her ego was telling herself. She said, until she decided, wait a minute, the truth of the matter, he did die and the pain is real. But the suffering I signed up for, I know it's too much to, de to, to, to deconstruct right now. 
In other words, be careful of the stories that you are telling yourself. That's why we have programs like this. Stay, try, learn, care. The story that you're telling yourself will manifest into your own reality. If you say things like, hey, you know, my luck is horrible or I'll never get it together or, you know, uh, you know, all these things will happen to you. I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'll never get healthy. I'll never get well. All of this stuff begins to happen. All right. Be careful. Don't let that. You have to deconstruct your automatic ego, which makes you the center of your story. Your friends and your family are your supporting cast. And then you end up writing out a story that God never intended you to live. But that's another day for another story for another time. It's too much to, to deconstruct right now. But hopefully what we talked about today and what I'm Precious spoke about and what Janae talked about, Deshauna and Joyce and Maria and, and what you guys talked about today um, and all those others who, who joined in, um, um, you know, really bless somebody. I hope you guys get it. I hope you guys understand it. There are certain words that you will tell yourself that you need to tell yourself. Always learn, always try, always stay, and always care. There you have it. Questions, comments, concerns, anyone? Anyone? The mic is yours. We've got a few minutes left. What's the story you're telling yourself right now, Janae? Kaya, are you guys telling yourself the story? Are you even aware of the story you're telling yourself? Are you even aware that the people around you are your supporting cast and they're helping you play out the story that you tell yourself? So we don't want them to be our supporting cast. What am I telling myself? Um, I don't know. I think- You don't I think mind a supporting cast if it's positive, if we're moving in the same direction, but- Right. The, the, the well-meaning warriors, they're a supporting cast in the negative. I think um, I think my overall thingy that I tell myself is just like is is all of these things are the four words. It's like try, like try it. Okay, we're trying it, so stay there, and we're gonna stay here because we care. Like like I'm <laughs> those are yeah. I'm just repeating the four words back to myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every time yeah. I want to make a bad decision. <laughs> Guys, listen, I'm not telling you that life doesn't happen. Life does happen. Life is going to continue to happen. We believers, born again Christians, Christ died. And a lot of 21st century people, he died for our sin and they stopped there. No, no. He died for our sin, suffering and shame. Sin, suffering, and shame. That's what he died for. He gave his life, rose again on the third day, my personal savior. And he and he took on my sin, suffering, and shame. That means that, yes, I don't avoid the pain of things that happen to me, but I don't have to employ the suffering. Okay, here it is. Here's the circumstance. What's my outlook toward the circumstance? The doctor tells me, hey, Ralph, you got to knee surgery tomorrow. Okay, that's great. What's my outlook toward the circumstance? Because I need complete full recovery. So we have the ability, you have the dominion. You have the dominion, man. Maria says this, prayer request her niece, Erlinda in Atlanta. She's a senior and is going through a tough, difficult time right now. Please pray for her. She's 18. You guys who know the power of prayer, please say a prayer for um, her niece, Earl, Linda, Earl, Linda. Final thoughts, Janae? Hey, thanks, Sister Joyce, for saying that. Just trying to bless somebody. Final thoughts, Kyer, anybody? Have a good day, everyone. Yeah, enjoy this beautiful day. This is beautiful out. Janae, any final words on your last day on the program as Miss Janae Graves? The next time you're on this program, you'll be Mrs. Janae Badia. Yeah. Um, words? Uh, I don't know. Um, hey, y'all pray for me. I'm giving my daughter away in 48 hours. Is it yeah. 48 hours? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, my final thoughts are, you know, let's see. We got time. I can think about this. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's down to the last minute, ain't you? Thanks for saying that, Maria. Thanks for being back on the program. I don't know. I don't have any final thoughts. Just, um, um, Vacuum, vacuum your your rugs. Clean uh, your floors. Uh, uh, you saying that because you're cleaning out the house because you're moving. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I, <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey guys, thank you for being part of the program. And you guys are an awesome crowd. Share this with somebody. Go to my website, uh, join the um, Unstoppable community. Go pick up my book. Um, you know, go to unstoppable.navetica, com, and uh, get with the pet boss, Dawn Moss. I have to say this. I do have a, a couple minutes. My, I have seen your dogs. Uh, Tara Jefferson says, congratulations, baby girl. Tara thank Jefferson. You. She said, thank you. I have my dogs, right? And, you know, they're, they're seeing your dogs now. And I, I work them. I, I, had, I really work them dogs. And so they started having some, some hip problems and some stuff as they got older. And um, I said, Let me, you know, you get promised all these different stuff. This will work. That'll work. And uh, I started giving my dogs the hip and joint supplement from Nevetica. They running around again. It's an awesome product. Unstoppablepets.nevetica.com. Order all your products off of, off of there. All right. If you want to learn how to be a distributor, email me, Ralph at RalphGraceJr.com. I'll link you up with the pet boss, Miss Dawn Moss, and uh, she'll tell you to get that done. But it's phenomenal stuff. I have products everywhere, everybody. Guys, thank you. Oh, Maria said, tell me what, what the book about. I'm looking for a book for women's retreat. Oh, my book, <laughs> the book is called Unstoppable. Um, I guess it'll fit a women's retreat, right? Julie? It's seven universal laws um, that will change the way you pursue and achieve success. And it's written from a Christian point of view. I am a Christian and I talk about some universal laws that I saw in play and in action that are unfailing nonstop. God put these universal laws into play that if we abide by them, we will be successful. Like I tell people gravity is a universal law. Disrespect it, it will hurt you. The law of forgiveness is a universal law. Disrespect it, it will hurt you. So we talk about those things. But guys, thanks for checking out the program. And I will see you again next Wednesday, 10 a.m. My name is Ralph Graves. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.